Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you are all doing well. So today's video is going to be a comparison video between the older model Compass as well as the new 2021 model Compass. So before starting the video, if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing. So on to my left, I have the old model Compass and on to my right, I have the new Compass. So the first comparison that comes to my mind is that the pricing. So talking about the pricing of the new variant, the price definitely have hiked a lot probably around 1.5 lakh to 2 lakh but it's definitely worth it so usually when automakers release the first facelift or the mid facelift of the car so usually the main changes they make is that the cosmetic changes for example the bumper the headlights or else the rear bumper the body line the interiors everything remains the same but in case of jeep compass the interior is so fresh which i'm gonna get in a moment so now let's see the first change so in this older compass, you had the DRL as well as the projector headlamps. So moving on to the center, you have this seven slat iconic grille from the Jeep, which they have followed from decades. So now I'm gonna move back so that you get a clear picture. So now let's move on to the new version of the Jeep. As you can see in this vehicle, you have this complete LED setup for the headlights and you have the DRL in a different shape. So the first change you saw is the headlight. So moving on to the grille, even the new compass has a seven slat iconic grille from the Jeep and as you can see there is definitely a lot of difference so as you can see i'm showing you the grill of the old compass so if i move closer as you can see there is the honeycomb design for the grill you have the small holes which lets in the air which helps in the process of letting the air inside and cool down the engine which makes the engine breathe better so now let's move on to the new compass as you can see there is no any kind of holes this is the new matrix design there is no any kind of holes or anything so on the first glance, it may look like an electric SUV, at least what that I thought of. So moving on to the fog lamp placement, as you can see, it's completely different. I'm going to show you the older compass. It has the indicators and the, you know, fog lamp placement in a completely different way. And uh, this is the main difference, as you can see in the front. And also there is kind of different differences in the bumper below to uh, where the number plates are going to be. So now let's talk about the changes in the side profile. So if I have to say honestly, nothing has been changed except the alloy wheels. So you yourself can see the side profile is same as the old compass, nothing has been changed. So moving on to the alloy wheels, so the design is different but the size is same as before. So it has a silver and uh, you know black kind of design which is pretty cool and the size seems to be 225-55 R18. So now let's move on to the older compass and see the tire size. As you can see, even this has the same size which is 225-55 R18. So like I said, the design is different, but the size of the tires are exactly same as before. So moving on to the back difference, honestly nothing has been changed in the back. It's same as the old compass. As you can see, you get this nice LED uh, touch up for the tie lamps. So it's same as before, nothing has been changed. You yourself can see, I'm gonna move to the old compass, the tail lights, the fog lamp placement, the bumper, everything, you know, the chrome fittings, the wiper is exactly same in the face lifted compass as well. So one more feature change that you get in the new compass is you have the power tail gate, which is pretty cool. All you have to do is, you know, double tap the, you know, key fob twice and the tail gate opens up. So and the boot space happens to be 438 liters, the same as before, nothing has been changed, everything is exactly same as before, except you get this tailgate button. So to close the tailgate, you have two options, you can press the button inside which I showed you now, or else you can press the key fob twice and it closes up automatically without any kind of, you know, actions required. So moving on to the old compass, as you can see in the key fob, there is no button to open the tailgate. All you have to do is, you know, unlock the car and, you know, open the tailgate manually like I did right now. So like I said before, the boot space happens to be same as before. Nothing has been changed. Even the trims and plastics which they have used inside the car is same except the color. As you can see over there, there is no button for the tailgate. That's the missing part. Uh, that's the change. So to close the tailgate, all you have to do is, you know, just push the tailgate and it closes up. So these are the changes which you can see in the exterior. So now let's move on to the interior. So I am in the new compass. So as you can see, the interior is so royal. It feels so much premium. You know, it feels like it's worth for money. There's tons of changes that have been made for the interior. So now I'm going to show you the old interior. As you can see, it's kind of, uh, you know, pretty basic, not that luxurious looking, but it's all right. So uh, the main difference, as you can see in the interior is that, you know, the new compass looks premium. 
So uh, seeing inside the old compass as you can see you have this 8.4 inch U connect multimedia system which has been placed in a chunky plastic and they have used some kind of piano black finish you know touch to give some kind of luxury touch and you have the air conditioning controls right over there. So talking about the infotainment it has this 8.4 inch infotainment system which is pretty cool but it's basically pretty slow and it also is pretty laggy as you can see the response of the system is pretty late. It does have the Apple CarPlay, it does have the Android Auto but it's wired, there is no you know, wireless kind of option in there and the interface is also pretty cool as well. It does have the Uconnect and also the response time is pretty late as you can see it's pretty laggy. So right below the infotainment system you have the controls to control the volume, the air conditioning and you have the you know uh, the USB and the aux option right there and also you have a pill volt charger socket. And also one more change is that the old compass was not having the cruise control. So MID is kind of analog and you have a small screen in the center which give you some basic information such as you know uh, the average efficiency or you know the odometer and lot of uh, basic functions and also uh, the old compass also misses the cruise control and also the old compass even has the panoramic big uh, sunroof which is pretty cool as well which i'm gonna show you in a moment as you can see it has this big panoramic sunroof so this is the interior layout of the old compass so now let's move on to the new Jeep Compass and see how and what changes that they have made. So moving on to the new Compass, it's completely different, you know, the interiors and everything does not relate to the old one at all. It's so premium, the plastics, the leather that they have used inside is very premium and there is also a lot of soft plastics that they have used inside and also everything feels so high class and high quality and premium. So talking about the new infotainment system, it has this 10.1 inch system which is super impressive and which is just amazing, no words at all, you know the response time and the pixels is just amazing. So this 10.1 inch infotainment system is way far ahead than the you know previous generation ones which had in the compass which I showed you before. It also has tons of features, tons of options, you just can't you know, you just gonna be keep exploring it. It also has a wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which is super impressive and also has a USB-C type port. Well overall, talking about the infotainment system, it's just amazing, next class, way far ahead than the previous one. As you can see in the center, the AC vents has been you know, uh, completely changed from the previous one and also you have different kind of controls to control the air conditioning and lot of piano black finish ha they have been used in the new compass for the change and also one more change you can see in the new compass is that it has the cruise control and a complete led instrument cluster in the top end variants but this car doesn't have that it has a bigger screen though than the uh, normal compass so it does have the big panoramic sunroof which the compass had previously it's the same size nothing has been changed which I'm gonna get show you in a moment. As you can see, the big panoramic sunroof, it's very huge in size, just like before. As you can see, this is the new interior layout of the Compass, which is way ahead than the previous generation. The interior is definitely top-notch and way ahead than the rivals. So now let's see the differences in the back seat. So I'm moving inside the old Compass. As you can see, the changes which I'm gonna show you in a bit. So the space and everything is just same and it also, it also has the rear two AC vents with a charging port in the back. Pretty much everything is same. So now let's get inside the back seat of the new compass. Everything is pretty much same except some kind of uh, you know colors or the trims that have been used. And also in the back the main change is that you have this piano black finish for the AC vents. Also you have the USB as well as a 12 volt dedicated charger for you know charging your laptops or any kind of other appliances which is pretty cool. This is the thing the old compass misses out. So the difference between the two keys is almost same. The layout and everything is same. The design is also same. But the new compass has this extra button to open the tailgate which the old compass misses out. And one more change you can see in the back is that the old compass has this old design kind of antenna but the new compass has this shark fin antenna from the company. Well guys I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe my channel. Stay safe, take care and see you on the next one.